taste test. Look at that tender center. You're gonna wanna make this. This recipe is near and dear to my heart because this was the first chicken recipe my family said, oh, you can cook, you need to cook this all the time. I've been cooking this recipe a lot, so it is ingrained in my brain. One note I do have for you is to make sure you soak your chicken in the cold water for 24 hours. Do the best you can, the longer the better. You're gonna come up with a juicy, delicious product. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I know you're, you and your family are gonna love it. Colonel Sanders is gonna be pretty jealous of you. So I have my bowl of cold salted water. I'm just gonna place these chicken thighs right into the cold water. So the reason why I'm doing this is because we want the chicken to be seasoned before we fry it. So all of them right into the pool. Now after you've drained and rinsed your chicken, you're gonna place it into the milk. So, everybody in the pool again. Next you want to take your flour and then all of your beautiful seasoning. Sprinkle them throughout. Get out your whisk. Got my piggy whisk here. Whisk it all the way through. Make sure everything is completely combined. Okay, so before we get into coating the chicken, you're going to have your oil on. Alright, so you can start off on high, and then as you start to um, see these little teeny tiny bubbles, um, you can also measure it. You want it to get up to at least uh, 375. So we're going to start our breading station now. Grab your chicken from the milk, place it in, keep one wet and then one dry. Get with that dry hand. Place it all over the chicken. Make sure flip it around. So I like to do two coats because I actually like my chicken extra crispy and so does everybody else in my family. So this bad boy is gonna go back into the pool. We're gonna dunk them back into the milk. Put them back in. Once you have all your chicken coated, what I like to do is get a sheet pan and then also some paper towels. Put the paper towels on the sheet pan and then a wire rack goes on top. This is where we're going to put the chicken after it fries. Okay, we're ready to fry the chicken. I have a little basket here, but also a spider works well too. I only put two uh, pieces of chicken in here because I don't like to overcrowd the basket. So here we go, let's see this start to fry. Drop it down. And this is gonna go for about four to five minutes. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. Let's go for this big reveal. Whoa! Look at that fried chicken. Okay, it's about that time. Ugh. Perfection again. It's such a guilty pleasure for me. Let me swing you around here so you can see what I'm doing. After the chicken comes out of the fryer, I'm just taking a little bit of extra salt and seasoning. Okay, once your chicken is out of the fryer and resting nicely on our rack, make sure that you take this paper towel off from underneath because if you keep it on here and you put this in the oven, this thing is going to catch on fire. So this is a super important step. So once they've come back out of the oven, you can start plating these up carefully, of course. And make sure before you serve these that they are a couple degrees cooler because if somebody bites into this, it's going to be like molten lava in their mouth. So there you have it. There's my perfect exquisitely crunchy, delicious, sinful fried chicken recipe. I hope you enjoy it.